Hey, my name is Jonas and I work for Amok Equipment. We wanted to make this important update video for our customers. First off, we want to thank you from our hearts for your patience and also all your feedback on our Facebook page, YouTube channel and on hammock forums. If you pay attention to these uh, quick steps I'm going to show you now, you'll get a lot more fun out of your product and you'll also avoid uh, mistakes that are quite common to make. When it comes to suspension, it's important that the straps have a little bit of sag to them, as you can see here. They should not be straight towards the tree. If you uh, attach the carabiners too low down here, you have to tighten the suspension a lot and that puts a necessary load on the straps as well as the carabiners. And it will also be really difficult for you to adjust the metal buckle that is right here. So it should look like this, with the tree straps quite high on the trees. The ridge line should be flat and level like this. Okay, what happens if you have made the mistake of tightening too much? I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is not good for the hammock, not for the tree straps and definitely not for the carabiners. It's too tight. And now you'll find you can't operate the metal buckle as you're supposed to. Grab the webbing, the loose end of the webbing, pull it towards the hammock, down towards the hammock. Grab the corner of the hammock or ridge line up here and pull them the other way, or push rather. So it's going to look like this. And there's a lot of tension on here. Once you're here, you got to try to grab the corner or something below here to feed the webbing out. Now it's loose. Okay, this is the correct way to use the carabiner and the tree strap. As you can see, the webbing in the back protects the bark. The wire gate is completely closed. It has to be this way and it also has to face upwards. The wire gate upwards. And you can also see that the webbing, it almost just runs straight through the carabiner and goes directly onto the tree. Now, most of the force is taken up by the webbing and the tree, not the carabiner. This is the correct way. Now this is the wrong way. Do not do it like this. The webbing does not protect the bark. The wire gate is facing downwards and it's really easy for the wire gate to pop up when it's pressed um, against the tree like this. In this configuration, the carabiner is really weak. Now, the most important here is that the carabiner is not facing the hammock. When you now pull in the webbing, all the force goes straight to the carabiner, not to the tree. This carabiner will break if you do it like this. Okay, now the other side, of course, it's the exact same. The carabiner, it looks good uh, where it attaches to the tree, but the webbing will now put all the force straight on the carabiner, which is not good. So make sure to adjust it like this, so that the force goes from the webbing straight to the tree. The carabiner is just there to make sure the webbing hugs the tree nice and tight. Make sure you keep the bug net safely on the side so that you don't sit on it when you enter the hammock. I'm going to enter now. I'm paying attention so I don't accidentally sit on the bug net. I go inside, now I can attach it. Those were the most important steps when using the hammock for the first time. Thank you so much for watching the video and we want to say that we look forward to your comments and feedback on the product. So please just uh, post them below, send us an email or a message through our Facebook page. Thanks.